Hey, welcome to God Buds. Whoa. Oh, God. If I touch the mouse... Okay, I'm not touching the mouse. All right. Um, we're trying a new method today. You'll you'll have to forgive. Okay, let's, let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, whoa, hey, welcome to Cud Buds. We are your two cuddiest buddiest. Nope. Well, you do it. You do it. Nah, we're doing it live. All right, I'll go again. Whoa, <laughs> welcome to Cud Buds. We're in the Cud. Now brought to you by something. Fox. Fire. Firefox. Firefox? Brought to you by the browser Firefox. Brought to you by Freehold Games. Alright. Um, we're off to... I just I think just like adventure. Off into the wilds. We were having quite a bit of problems um, actually Dying. getting anything yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. So we could just like check out the asphalt pits. It's It's kind of a fun place to go. Or we could go to the uh, six day stilt. That's a nice chunk of experience for basically free. You want to go there? I go up. I go up. I go up. I go out. Out into the world. I go up again. Here I go. Here I go uh, cutting again. I go up. One more time. I go up. For the people in the back. Go the, up. the mutants and the trukins. I'm up. Just the trukins this time. Okay. I love shurukins. Shurukins. Um, Shurukins. All right. So uh, we're going to want to go to, if we want to go to the six day stilt, it's not a pl bad place to go. And then that will give us a easy peasy shortcut for the asphalt mines. Or I, I should say a, um, a checkpoint, not a shortcut. Um, so the... Six day stills is on the top left there. Uh, we probably want to make a straight line for the dunes because getting lost in the flower fields is dangerous work. So if you okay. want to do like just straight west until you get to the uh, dunes, then uh, we will mitigate our risk. Solid. Take take your first step into the world, and if you don't kick your feet, then the kick your feet I'm or a, keep your feet. I'm a hungry. Nah, it's fine. We're gonna ignore that until we get to the dunes. Desert canyons. Desert canyons. Flower fields. Flower fields. Flower fields. Not getting lost so far. Uh oh, lost. Why did you say that out loud? Well, it's not my fault. Oh, oh it's bumping here. It's popping off. Um, okay, that's not a legendary robot idol, which is fine. Um, those are all Naftali. We've encountered those before. Um, they're a little bit spicy, but, you know, only for our level. The chrome idol is a bit of a, a bummer. Um, we could run. I'm hungry. You are hungry. Um, you will have a I have, slight a, I have a gun now. Does that mean, does that do anything for me? Yeah, it totally does. Um, you probably want to sprint away either way so that you get some distance between you and them. Some of them have ranged, so uh, you know you don't the you don't have the total advantage, but still, if you have some distance, you can pop a couple of them off. And uh, can I fire while sprinting? No, you definitely can't. That is a uh, passive upgrade for pistols, but not for rifles. As soon as you try it, you will stop sprinting, and then your sprint will well, be wasted. Well, fart. All right. So I'm just going to run to the left? Yeah, I'm gonna you're, run just, away. you're just going to run away. So my sprint runs out? Yeah. It doesn't last long, so... We could also... A skunk. We could check out. Ooh, there's a some kind of sunglasses. Cool sunglasses to your left there. What? Um, the, the north. A dog, north, a bat, a cat. North of the bat, north? slightly. Okay. We could just make make a beeline for that. Also, there's some uh, unharvested witchwood bark in case you want to know what that looks like. Is that the red one? Yeah, that's the red one.
All right. Uh, this is good. We're 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 getting uh, we're making ground away from them. Those are some mirror shades. Actually, quite good. I like them. I did a run a once where I was like all flash grenades and uh, mirror shades were really good because I could just like flash anyone around me and um, I generally didn't get the effect myself and uh, yeah they also give you plus one ego which is nice for uh, selling I get them yeah get them grab them should I equip them no yes sure why not there's no reason oh. why not right now I mean it takes a turn but it's not gonna make a big difference you could start making some pop pot shots at uh, the Naftali. So now Batman, Batman has a cool pair of shades. Uh, uh. Oh my God. <laughs> Click. Where'd he go? He went north slightly out of your range of vision. Oh my gosh. If you want to do, it's, eh, like, he, it's like he knew. It, he knew. The Naftali do are very familiar with the forest. I need one hit shot him. One hit killed him. Sorry. And don't worry about those red dots. They don't. They're they're like it. Yeah, it's affecting your accuracy, but it's not a big deal. You hit something to the northeast and killed it. <laughs> so you killed someone. Uh oh. Um, I mean, a fun thing. This is like a, both a good and a bad thing. But when you take a shot, uh, unless you hit a tree or something, I guess your shot is still like flying off and it can hit something and kill them i think that they're fighting a oh stark. the kitty's fighting me are they you might have accidentally hit the cat i didn't mean to shoot you cat oh my gosh do i just like we gotta start over we gotta <laughs> we, we gotta start it we gotta burn this whole campaign down <laughs> I can't go down like this, man. Just run away. We can try and save the cat. His name's Ray. Oh, I actually, I got myself some iced coffee and I forgot about it. Thank you for reminding me with that. Uh, probably in bad taste uh, sound. But... Right, we're just like booking cats. it. Cats, there we go. No, I mean, they're going to pursue you for a while. You want to run away. With the cat? Yeah, the, the cat's not done with you. Oh, fine. Ah, Feel bad. The cat. Ah. Feels bad, man. No, you're bad, man. Okay, I mean, this is going well. You're like one shot killing all these guys for a cool 110 XP each. Feels good, you know, once you get your first rifle, the game really opens up, you know, cud, it starts to feel uh, like you're you're taming it somewhat. What the? I want the close guy, come on. Thank you. Probably what happened is you were already in combat with them, so it's going to auto-target them. That guy is probably, like, he, they're big, but they're more bark than bite. They're stunned. You can just keep smacking them. You're good. I did a conk. You did a conk. I appreciate that you remembered that. That was good. You tore him up. You got a bunch of XP. Me, be, be, be. Be, 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 be. Uh, we got an iron dagger. You can pick that up. You could loot their corpses. All right. Uh, look. Yeah. My my real ray cat has appeared. Whatever you heard, it's not true. I love the cats <laughs> and everything <laughs> they stand for. There's Don't a really good club. mod. One of my favorite mods that auto picks up daggers. Um, I I would just love it. I I might like maybe if I can learn enough modding to do this, like make a mod where just everything has an option for being auto picked up. You can tur like toggle it on and on or off. I should just like grab the dagger mod and see if I can do that. Wouldn't be too difficult. You want to try harvesting that witchwood bark? Yeah, you did it. Nice. I did it. 
I do have harvest plants on. Yeah, you can turn that off, um, but doing it just means you automatically do it. Oh, that's, that's fine. I don't know. Why. There are occasional reasons why you don't want to auto harvest plants. For instance, uh, when you're running into encumbrance problems. Please, and just a club, just a dang club. Yeah, you don't need any of that. So we can just like head west from here. Um, you don't necessarily like we're lost still, but if only you could talk dog, you could probably ask that dog for directions. What's that building? Oh, we have, let's have a look. Air Why, well. it's an air well. The air well, the small difference in temperature inside the dome causes dew to condense from air and accumulate in a catch basin below. Can I get water from the basins? You know, you, you really feel like you should be able to, but I don't think so. Oh, you totally can. I've learned a thing. My god. Well done. You collected, you auto collected four drams from the other one. You don't have to mess with it. I didn't realize that those collected fresh water. Just gotta read the description, man. Yeah, I mean, people keep telling me that, but I keep ignoring them. Knowledge is power or something. I mean, maybe. Knowledge is something. I, I wish I knew am what. I, am but... I still lost? Yeah, you're still lost. You can always tell um, by looking in the top, bottom left of the active effects. Corrected vision. I'm not sure what that uh, actually does for you, but that's probably because of your uh, mirror shades. Cat, please don't move the mouse displaying Discord. I would appreciate that. Oh, what's that thing? That is not a problem. It's a robot. It's a fairly, fairly harmless one. Scrap a scrap shovel. Yeah. Reprogrammed. reprogrammed by the mechanism mechanimus we're probably we're gonna meet those very soon no cat please do not go on the desk not now hello you're friends with that cat don't worry the cat really wants to go on the desk right now okay all thing is good you got more witchwood bark you were running out, so that's actually really good. Ooh, even more witchwood bark. Um, okay, so What's that... What's that flower? I think that it is dead, but that is a feral law, and that is a big problem. Law bloom. Okay, so it's not a feral law. Um, a feral law looks very similar to a law bloom. Um, so, uh... Okay, yeah, that's those are both problems. Fairly big problems. You're gonna you're about to take a bunch of damage. You might want to step back one tile. It'll actually do some damage to the slug snout as well, which is nice. There you go. Um, yeah, so that was a tumbling pod. Um, tumbling. It exploded. Yeah, it exploded. There's a feral law on the screen. I was about to explain that they spit out tumbling pods, which are basically the plant equivalent of grenades. Mmm. Um, mm. And they are really nasty. They can really tear you up. Fortunately, though... Law blooms um, themselves bad? Law blooms are... You want to kill the law bloom because then they stop summoning... Oh, law blooms themselves are no. No, I think they're fine. You That's why I shouldn't shoot this flower. No, I don't think it'll do you any good. It's it's not really doing anything, I don't think. It's it's just the feral laws that sp spawn the tumbling pods. You could walk over it. You might There is the there is that feral law. Um, okay. Should I shoot that feral law? You absolutely should. You want to kill that thing as quickly as you can. Try again. Keep, keep going until you're basically in imminent danger, is uh, what I would recommend. Okay, so now you're in imminent danger. There you go. No, when they sing, oh, I was going to say, oof, oops, is you can shoot the tumbling pod and then they will explode. 
So if there's one right next to it, you can shoot the pod and it will do damage to the feral law. Just normal caves of cud things going on right now. You get to, you know, become, well, oof. There's always that. There's always potentially missing. No. No, it's badly wounded. Just spit on it. Oh my god. What's happening here? You're missing a lot is what's happening. There you go. So yeah, when a feral law dies, it becomes a law bloom. I'm going to I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill and heal? Yeah, chill heal is a good idea. There's a tumbling pot. I'm going to I'm going to shoot that thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. You you critted it five times for 17 damage. They don't have a lot Makes of AP. Think. Sorry? Makes you think. Makes you think. You Interesting. Know? Much to consider. What's that? Let's have a look. Yeah. So He's trivial. Bah. He's also docile. You don't have to worry about him. Let me talk to him. Then I won't. Is he, uh... I forget what they're called. I always forget. Jilted Lover. I always, uh... Like, even though Jilted Lovers aren't relevant to you anymore, like, they're only worth 2 XP, um... I always I go now? for them. Yeah, you can cook. Go for it. Uh, let me camp. Do you wanna? Uh, do you want me to give you a good combo of some ingredients that you already have? Uh, I'm going to choose ingredients to cook with. Go for it. Okay. Are you, are you gonna do that? Or oh, I was, uh, I was waiting for things? a response on that. No. Um, yes, sure. All right, go for, um, you want star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf. Now, just to preamble, um, the, the, this is a chance-based thing. You might not get the ideal recipe here, but there's a very good combo here if you can get it. I gathered some fixings with the star apple jams and vine wafer sheep and a fame boar's tail. Toss them in the pot and stir. I eat the meal. Okay, uh... Whenever you take damage to the tank... Yeah, you didn't get it. But, uh, plus 8 to 12 to saves versus bleeding, plus you thirst at half rate isn't bad. I learned to cook Batman's mild vine wafers and balsamic slaw. That's a good name. I like that one. I start to metabolize the meal, gaining the following effect for the rest of the day. Plus 10 to saves versus bleeding at thirst at half rate. Nice. We're hot damn. So we're in the hills, the, the desert canyon, but we're still heading west. If you want to... Uh, yep. A breakdown of like when you stop becoming lost or stop being lost it's uh every time you enter a new screen you have a chance of finding your bearings so those guys are only worth two xp each just so you so you knows we got snap jaws we got tons of snap jaws Now, um, I will, uh, ooh, I, yeah, you might, oh, no, you're okay. Uh, I will caution you about the gun is, um, shooting into, um, a pile of bodies like this, like snap jaws and dragonflies. If you accidentally hit the dragonfly, like miss and hit them, which is very, very possible. Um, you will anger all of the dragonflies on you. It's not necessarily a problem, but it is a pain in the butt. So it's worth knowing these I things. I already done that. No, they're they're still neutral. We're good. If you're uh, something's shooting something. If you ever wonder if something is hostile to you, you can actually just like quick look at the mini map on the top right, and it'll 
show you green dots versus red. This is all good. I mean, you're only getting one XP from each of these lads. You could probably like steamroll th through here. You've also got nine AV. There's not really much that they can do to you. This is when I start to play fast and play bad. <laughs> Set yourself up a nice shortcut button for um, attack nearest with melee. And you're good to go. You basically don't have to think anymore. I don't want to do that, I don't think. <laughs> I've definitely been um, recommended against that playstyle many times. You could also just totally ignore them. That works too. They've got a little short blade bronze dagger believe it or not those are still um like worth their weight in picking up it's a hard thing to really explain but basically a pile of daggers is still worth more than a really expensive item that you know like doesn't equal its own weight in water okay we might uh, end up using your superpower of digging through the wall. There you go. Is that a new tile? No, that's just shale. I don't know. It looks a little different to me. Shale is broken. So while we, whilst we dig through the wall, um, I mean, you already know this Galen, but for, uh, just a time scale, um, Today, the 1.0 was announced for 2024 of Caves of Cud, along with a new trailer and um, officially being published by Kit Fox. Isn't that cool? I've we just dug into just more wall. Yeah, um, here, hit the dig button. Let me show you something cool. What's the, what's the, hey, the... And now with your mouse, select where you want to dig to. So you can just like go to the far left. And now your character will automatically do all the hard work. You're basically the guy from the trailer now. There you go. There's ponies. Those are Equins? Equimax. Equimax. Physical features, kick, kick. All right. <laughs> they can be pretty tough. A rich platinum coat is spread smooth across a tranquil body and then erupts at the hooves and tufts across a long muzzle mane, tussles curtains his eyes. Perfect. What a majestic beast. Um. So. They can be uh, kind of tough, but they are neutral to you. So definitely uh, not a great idea to shoot into a pile of Equimax. You are level. You actually just gained a level off of one XP. That's that's fairly rare. Mm. And you are inspired. So you could cook another meal. Probably not on this screen, unless you kill everything. What was that? It was a tortoise. Oh, it's a turtle. They are very hostile. Turtles? Yeah, turtles are not cool. Oh, no. They're irritable. Well? So here's the thing about turtles, is they actually do have high AV which makes sense they've got a pretty stuff um tough shell but you also have the ability to stun lock them until the end of time so it's really a uh a numbers game it's gonna leave no uh, they'll they'll become unstunned and then follow along they're also slow which also makes sense 
What's that thing? Uh, where? Oh, that's a weapons rack. It might have some good stuff on it. Counterweighted Desert Chris. That is technically a dagger, so worth picking up. Classic weapon rack in the middle of a field. Well, uh, there is some logic to it. It was probably belonging to the Snapjaws. It tends to appear where there's a pile of Snapjaws. There's something really funny to me about just like kind of walking along and as soon as the snapjaw like comes up to you, you just do a little and they're just dead in <laughs> instantly. You give them a little backhand and they're just, you know. They don't know. They don't know how dumb they are. There is a, uh, there is a mod that I've considered playing with that makes creatures smart enough to know that if you're like several levels above them that they will just instantly be jibbed if they kill you know attack you oh ho, ho, ho. okay i've discovered the lair of judakuna hagama legendary mechanist pilgrim this is actually a very good thing great that is a temp uh pewdest templar i believe you are true kin um, so we don't have to worry about that, but there is an Aftali warrior. They'll probably not be friendly. Oh, those are, I didn't see the, all the snap job, um, tough, tough lads. Those are tough lad snap jaws. Look at this Arco knot. Yeah, they are usually pretty friendly and they also have some kind of like early game relevant stuff you can buy from. So the Snapjaw feeders, they're kind of an issue. Uh, you're just going for it. I respect it. I respect the hustle. Naftali Warrior uh, did... Oh, they're a stalker. They did hobble you, so you are bleeding. Uh, you take probably... no damage from bleeding. Well, you're still bleeding, though, so you're going to have to wait a few turns to not be bleeding. Oh, I think you're good now. No, you're still bleeding. I think. Hobbled. You are hobbled. Okay, you're no longer hobbled. You're good. Uh, do you want to try cooking another meal? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Get her done. I. Do you want me to try again, or is you... that just gonna do the same thing? If it was me, I'd try again because I know the effect is worth it. Especially, um, it's a very particularly helpful um, recipe uh, when dealing with Golgotha. So if you find the recipe, then it would be extremely helpful when you end up going to Golgotha. Gather some fixings, Jim, Sheaf, and Ash. Uh, b -b 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 whenever you salve or uber nostrum, you don't thirst. Mm, you did not get it. But whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you heal 15 to 20 HP. Is actually kind of kind of cool. I have never gotten mm -hmm. that one before. At least I don't think I have. Sounds good to me. I learned to cook the Batman sizzling fresh water and glazed apple jam inside of porridge. Excellent. I've done it. Fantastic. So I should go talk to that man down there? Yeah, you can. We can see if uh, they sell something cool. Bunch of stuff happening to our north. Ooh, there's a mechanist. Uh, Naftali, unfortunately. They're going to be in combat with an Arcanaut as soon as they walk up to them. All right. And uh, you asked them about your location, you're not lost anymore. Let's trade. Let's do 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 do. So, the coolest thing that they have is a salve injector. If we have some spare trade, 
to throw at them, you might want to buy it. I think we blew through kind of all of ourselves in the last episode. Bronze da dagger is uh, rusted. That sucks. We do uh, plus or enter. Enter if That's there's multiple. It. That's it. I mean, yeah, you may as well give him the rusted one. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of like good trade right now, but um, you know that works. Do we have like anything else? Go to like the very bottom. Uh, I could sell him the painted short bow. It's worth something. Could sell him the water skin of wine, but honestly, the water skin is worth more than the, like, four drams of wine, like, to keep. And then you could just pay the rest in water, but, like, I don't know. Up to you. Do you want another salve injector? Or do you uh, uh, want to keep the water? I feel like I probably want the south injector. Okay. Let's do it. Or am I going to die? I don't think you'll die. Um, the worst thing that happens is you'll run out of water and then you'll want to use one of your recoilers to get somewhere where you can get some water. Mmm. So, like, there's not really... You want to hit the plus. Uh, I don't... Don't tell me how to live. All right. All right. Uh, Lafa. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you still have 80 drams. That's a fairly comfortable buffer. All right. B -b 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 so this is a layer to a legendary mechanist. Um, we could take a moment and explore this zone. Would be pretty cool actually there's a there's reasons to go and talk to a legendary mechanist will be your first legendary creature that will not be automatically hostile to you so there is that we could see if they have useful reputation and um yeah break bread with them share a dram they will be uh, oh. downstairs a rummager died oh no I went the wrong way. You did. It's all right. Um, if you go hit the plus sign, you'll be able to read like, you know, current location, so you won't have moved. There you go. So counterintuitive that <laughs> plus is plus is down and minus is up. I I guess I've gotten used to it. Um, I understand why. It's, it's counterintuitive. It's counter How dare you even pretend it's not counterintuitive? Well, I mean, from an opposite perspective, you are increasing in stratum depth, right? Ugh. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, I understand. Uh, I, I understand uh, getting, like, it's it really is just like... Uh, something i've gotten so hard while wired learned on that it's it is intuitive to me but i also know oh, like I'm bleeding again you're bleeding again well those stupid naftali stalkers will uh stab you that probably has some wine in it though i did i did collect oh did you already it was cider oh yeah cider's actually good too worthwhile that jug probably has nothing in it. Oh, you got some weird artifacts, though. Or a weird arf artifact. It is empty. You're right. They'll generally have, like, a little slightly different tile if they have some stuff in it. Ah. Hello. Hello. Lots of people here. Reason apple farmer. 
This brownie mustachioed man wears a white apron stained with the juice of star apples. His sable hair mats against the brown skin of his forehead. From his left forearm hangs a wet rag with which he scrubs the dirt from his hands every few moments. Well, having a nap. He is napping. Love that for him. He's, that he, he's on his daybed. Why, Pilgrim? All right. He's got a, a hat big enough to tip. Oh, he's out of bed. So, oh God, your luck for bumping into novice of the sightless way in this campaign is absurdly bad. Um, you can't shoot him. You will a hundred percent hit everyone else. So I might recommend backing up and hope that he doesn't burrow into. He did do. He did do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything you can do. I think you're just dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I don't know what to tell you. That is some of the worst luck I've ever seen for encountering oh. novice of the sightless way. So we are going to reappear at Great Gate, unfortunately. Wow. Well, we should probably end the episode there. That's so sad. <laughs> well, okay, let's let's focus on the on the positive. You now canonically didn't kill that cat. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> All right. Um, cool app. Cool app, everyone. GG. Died again. It's, Why are uh, those guys everywhere? They're so rude. They are really rude. They're my one of my can least I, favorite enemy. Can I get like a cool hat to stop them from eating my brain? Actually, yes. Well, not stop you, but certainly make it more difficult for them. There's a few things you can get. They're really not late game relevant. They're only a huge pain in the ass in the early game, and then they kind of just stopped being a pain later. But yeah, they're 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 annoying as hell. I'm writing get good hat. On we want to. I think, to do. I believe we want a Nullworm skull is a good thing uh, against the novice of the sightless way. But I also think that, uh, yeah, I mean, like, just hope we don't encounter him in exactly this context. Like, it's the worst context ever because you were far enough away from the stairs that you couldn't just go back up and break their their sight, uh, and they also had a pile of bodies in front of them, so you couldn't shoot them. It's the worst case scenario. I should have tried to just cut through all those people. I it, it might have been it might have worked, but the problem is is that they were also also hostile to you, so you wouldn't have been able to just like like walk through like wade through them and then punch them. You'd have to actually fight them, and then Naftali warriors were would have probably delayed you long enough that it would have been a problem. But anyway. I'm sorry that keeps happening. That's really oh. brutal. All it's right. a good game. All right. Well, if you're enjoying uh, this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. And closing thoughts? Do the things. Do the things. Press the buttons. All right. Press all of them. Press all the buttons.